Alright guys, we're going to take up the old Mavic Air for a minute because they just did an update, so I got to see if it's going to be okay. And we'll start some video. Yay. And we'll take off. Tell you what, as soon as I rolled up on this place, what do you think I saw? They're gone now, but a bunch of these damn buzzards was buzzing around. Bastards. They're always up to no good, these damn buzzards. the sport mode out a little bit, see if they muck that up at all. Oh. Looks pretty good. Okay, that looks okay. Try the active track. Okay, that's working. Let's try the point of interest. I'll get it out here. Got to make sure they don't muck up any of the features, right? Okay, so that seems to be working. Seems to be working fine. I don't see any issues, just sitting there.
Guess the uh, landscapers here today. I'll tell you what, guys, this thing is rock solid, just like the Mavic. and the spark. As steady as she goes. The obstacle avoidance on here, it starts warning you a lot, so if you get anywhere close to it, it starts going off. I still got 47% battery. Not suitable for landing. So, you know, it's seen that obstacle in my hand there and it said not suitable for landing. So you got to hit force landing, okay, if that happens. It's just easier to catch these things because you know my skills at, uh, let me cut the video. My skills at landing on that pad are or pretty abysmal so how do you think it would happen if I was to land on this thing okay so that would even be more of a catastrophe <laughs> all right guys there you go the Mavic Air test after the firmware update I don't know the number but I'll put it in the uh, I'll put it in there it's number zero point something it's 15 numbers long so all right, guys, have a nice day.